girl, you gotta be my bride. Superman, when I'm with you, without you, Chris tonight. So please stay in my arms till the end of time. What's up y'all it's me cali star and i'm back with another video all right y'all so this video is going to be super ex exciting and scary at the same time because i'm gonna pierce my tongue y'all i'm so freaking scared i've been wanting to do it for a long time i'm gonna do a surface which goes just at the top not through the bottom horizontal and it'll show like Two on each side, one on each side, it looks like it's going down the bottom, but it's really just to the top. Yeah. I am so freaking scared, but we're going to do it because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So, yeah, I got to go on the road and pick up something um, for work. So, I just said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to thug it out and I'm going to do it. Anyway, so, yeah, let's go. I don't even know if I told you guys, but Prince is officially off formula. It's been a couple of weeks now. Thank God. So right now he's drinking um, Earth's Own. So it's plant-based milk, unsweetened. Um, I already started kind of drinking this type of milk. So I just thought it was a good idea to start him on something that's more natural. Um, he's not really too much eating. He eats if he wants to. If I put him in his chair and leave him with food, eventually he'll taste it. He'll eat it. His favorite thing right now is crackers. Um, apple juice he drinks now. But yeah, he's really still not really that interested into food. I also finally got some dragon fruit to try. It has watermelon in it as well, but I've been dying to try dragon fruit because I see it all the time so i'm super excited to see what it tastes like so there it is like it almost feels like it has a taste but it really doesn't it's a watermelon But it's good. I actually like it. It's like fresh, like refreshing, you know? Pretty good. Oh, it's cold, my teeth. Wow, yeah, it's pretty. Dragon fruit doesn't really have a taste, but it almost gives off, you know, like it's, I don't know. It doesn't have a taste, but anyways, it's still pretty good. Like, it's like watermelon, but without the sweetness. Anyway, so I'm trying to eat a lot healthier now. More fruits, less chips, cookies, cake, because cake is my, is my um, weakness. But I'm going to try to eat more healthy right now, especially going back to work and stuff. Um, yeah, I've never had this much weight, I mean, a long time, which I kind of love. 
So I kind of hate it at the same time. I think I'm just not used to seeing myself like this. too loud to record but yeah so I'm going to um, go to crumble cookie they have a good lineup this week so I'm gonna take you guys along let's go Okay guys, so I ordered my cookies, 
but um you know i usually do my taste test in the car but i'm gonna wait till i get home just to set up the camera and like do it better that way mm -hmm. so anyways we're gonna drive home and then i'll meet you guys back Peace. all right y'all i'm back and we gonna try some cookies i'm so excited i cut up some of them already like i don't know if you guys can see them but i cut up some of them already and i got my water here as well the first one i'm gonna try is looks like this it's fried ice cream and i'm gonna try a little piece as i said i already cut it up all right here we go This is them. I love the crunch at the top. It's nice and creamy. Cookie saw. It has like a cinnamony taste, which is so good. And the other one is a pumpkin caramel. This is how it looks. Mm, that first one is good. It has like, like cornflakes on the top, which is really good. Pretty good. Anyways, pumpkin caramel. Mm. Mm. this is like a cake yeah the consistency is like a cake and it also has like a spice cinnamon kind of flavor and the cream is also really soft it's like cream cheese mm. Mm. it tastes like cinnamon pancakes I don't really taste pumpkin. Mmm, it's nice and soft. That is, that one is good. Mmm, but the fried ice cream is amazing. But the, hmm. Okay, the fried ice cream. I'll give that like a nine. It's so good. The pumpkin. I'll give it like a eight because it's kind of thick, but it's still pretty good. Now this is the one I couldn't wait to try. This is maple cinnamon and it's like literally in this container which i can't wait to try so i'm gonna use my knife and kind of dig it out i'll show you guys what this looks like this is also like a cake consistency as well mm. This one is like, tastes uncooked a bit. And it's like more cake than icing, which is kind of giving it like too thick, too much. Wait, I need some water. I don't know. I feel like the rest of them are giving more cinnamon than this one is. And it's really, really thick. And the ice thing is like this. I don't know. I give this like a, a five. Not that great. And then we're going to try this one. This one's kind of a bit melted because it was warm outside. But that's the raspberry, um, the raspberry cheesecake that I'm excited to try as well. So I'm gonna use my knife. Yeah, this is definitely melted. Mmm. Mmm. There's actually not enough crumble at the bottom, like graham cracker kind of crust. But the cheesecake. Mmm. Ooh. It's so rich and creamy and mm. chef's kiss. Mmm. Yeah. Raspberry cream, 10 out of 10. Raspberry cheesecake, sorry. So good. All right, so raspberry cheesecake, amazing. Fried ice cream, amazing. The pumpkin caramel is good. And the maple cinnamon is thumbs down. I don't really like it, but yeah. That's my crumble review. 
so good. 